got. Oh, man. Okay. All right. All right. Welcome back to New Soccer Wars. I'm your host, Ultra Director Jester. So, a uh, couple extra things to do real quick before we move on with the story. Mm hmm. Nice spring colors, yes. Here's a hockey shoe for some reason. Well, she's just enjoying the sights. And here's Lancelot. What's up? Actually, that sees, uh, um... Oh, please give us a choice. Golly, if I say that she's her mentor, she could try and fight her. What? She's her mom. Just say she's her mentor, dude. Don't be stupid. What kind of barbarian do you think she is? Someone who just fights people randomly in the middle of the... Oh, wait, yes. 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 Actually, yes. Lancelot's kind of a psychopath. You're almost A-posing there, dear. <laughs> now she's little teacup posing. Short and stout, Kamiyama! Alright, next place to go is... Uh, well, uh... I think we got all the bromides here. Alright, is, is anything of substance going to happen in this episode? I'm very curious. Oh, sure, we got plenty of time. Okay. So here's a, here's one thing that the game failed to mention. We have a fortune teller here. But I we've thought seen him that before was... on not, yeah we've seen him on Claris's date. I thought it was just a thing, but just like some gag for the for the scene. But no, if you really don't know what to do next, the game oh. can tell you. Cool. Did you get caught up in something troublesome? Yes, uh, doing this let's play. <laughs> it, it's called New Soccer Wars, made by Sega. Barrels of fortune are lined up. Oh, sweet. We get to play Donkey Kong Country. A lively, sweet-smelling green place of respite. Oh, Hyrule Field. And a city of flowers watched over by four souls with empty eyes. Fire Emblem Three Houses. Thanks for the help. Oh, well, actually, if we're taught... Actually, that should be Sega Games. Like, telling a fortune. It's like, you shall go across the hills of green! And you shall also enjoy the Chronicles of the Valkyria! Link to the Past. Final Fantasy. Do video game fortune telling! Ah, oh, what could she be doing at this sweet shop? Imagine She's that. probably planning a terrorist insurrection! Oh, the girl who likes sweets is actually getting sweets. You're How writing. unusual. I need to make a note of this. Why are you writing this down? The girl who likes sweets <laughs> has been seen purchasing sweets at the local sweet shop. Mmm, <laughs> suspect. Next you're going to tell me the girl who likes books is going to get caught at a library. Hang on. Let's keep your crackpot theories in the gutter, okay? Oh, excuse me. I just happen to notice patterns every now and again. Yeah, well, the most, the unthinkable happened. The sweets liking girl is buying sweets. That must mean that she is with the demon. She is a what? spy for the demons. What? Clearly. Whoa, unless those demons like, mind you, I don't think we're getting any more here. <laughs> Agreed. This game is ruining my speech. So Kamiyama being the great captain is like, wait, could she be a spy for Shang Long? In the Shanghai... Like... <laughs> so now we're gonna go to Shang Long see if they've seen her or what she's doing there or anything. Why is your first assumption to think that a person in your group is a spy? Boy, it's a good thing I know how terrible these two characters really are and how awful they can really be when the chips are down. I'm so glad that we're getting to see them all the time now. You know, that's the sign of a good game, is when there are characters that are not likable in the slightest, and they show up 
every single time you boot up the game. Yes, I, have, I too have played Danganronpa. Damn it! Ah! Alright, you win me. Hey, your favorite character has lasted for a while. Couple of them. Why does this thing need to be voiced? Because this is important. Look at her and her Sailor Moon baubles. Don't be a stranger! Yeah. You just told me to fuck off earlier in this conversation! Hey, I know what you can make me. Some humble pie. Suck on this beef stick, suck it! Oh no shit, dumbass! No fucking shit! <laughs> Why is this a thing you're pondering? Whoa, they moved her model from rooftop to rooftop, how'd she do that? She's jumping on rooftops. I won't be able to find her now. <laughs> oh my god, she's Sonic the Hedgehog. But looking at the photo that they gave us. Alright, find the contradiction. That wasn't the outfit she was wearing. So, an update on the games. Oh, good. Oh, wait, we weren't here to watch the Berlin Combat Review fight? No, it's like the Olympics. It happens for, like, days, apparently. So, so wait a minute. Who did Berlin fight? Moscow. Moscow? Moscow. Were they introduced? Nope. Well, they don't matter because they're meant to be fodder so that we Berlin can win and we can fight them later. Why would I not want to know... Any other combat reviews, because all of these ones that they've shown us suck! Like, it's so frustrating! We have all these great characters from Soccer Wars we could use, but instead we have these shitty new ones that don't do anything, and then we have all these empty spaces where we could have other characters, and they just don't fill them, because they just... Well, I don't you, know! You know what would happen if all the characters were still in this game. It would just become a tournament fighter with all your favorite Soccer Wars characters. WOULD THAT BE SO BAD?! Well, it would be kind of bad, because you wouldn't know any of them. You're telling me you wouldn't get a Sakura Warriors game? That sounds fucking awesome! That sounds great! They already got the shitty Dynasty Warriors combat. All they gotta do is hire fucking Omega Force to do it for real, and now you got a great game on your hands! You can even keep your shitty, stupid little new flower division. That would make everybody happy! Excuse me, that's a Sakura flower division? <laughs> You caught me training with my master, Kamiyama. Correct. Wow, I knew what was going to happen before it happened. I could tell what was going to happen from the first time I saw the picture. Uh, yeah, yeah. Your ton size not that bad. Yet. Yeah. Oh, not saying this character is bad, I'm saying this could have been, you know, pick up the pace, game. Body language in this game is just horrendous. Are his legs, like, bending outward? L look at that. That's not natural. Oh, it's the weight of my sins, you know. Uh, Buckling no. the old knees a bit more in every year. Oh, that's cute. He has origami frogs. That's adorable. Uh, <laughs> I'm here to ask if your student is a snitch. So, master slash father figure. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
I loved it when you gently lunged towards her and she dodged it. Pretty incredible moves. See, it must be why they did. They uh, had wacky waving inflatable arm flailing tube and do your mocap because they could do crazy cool martial arts stuff. This is why I liked Sakura Wars 5 because they had cutscenes to show off parts of the story that needed more movement. The fuzzy 2D images I feel have more emotion than these 3D models do as well. These crown drawings are adorable. Thanks, I did them myself! Good job, Master. Aww, that's why she likes sweets. I saw the screen darken, then I could see the whole screen. The whole, the whole picture. <laughs> I'm waiting for the page in her personal diary. Today I took down the head of a ninja clan. Master gave me a chocolate manju. Today I restructured the economy and created an infrastructure program that could last for many generations. I got a cherry manju. <laughs> Every time she does something that is literally world changing, one manju. I restructured the stock market and made everybody rich. Peanut butter manju. It's you! Dump your Haihachi! <laughs> Is he gonna throw his son into a volcano? Volcano's too high. I'll just throw him in the pool. Here you go, Azami! Straight into the hot tub! It's good enough! Training. What's this not a real ninja shit? What? So he's just a normal guy. He's not really the head of a ninja school. He's just kind of teaching her just some stuff, like, you know, a code of morals. And Azami's not really a ninja, because he's not really a ninja. Because he's not really a ninja master. So he's been feeding her delusions since she was, like, a wee bay. Essentially. Then how does she jump like a ninja? And why is this anime? Because you need to have a, a look like this, you know, where the lolly character is looking up at you, tears in her eyes, at least I think they're tears, the bloom's up too high, but... <laughs> Hold on, let me change screens. Is that bloom? This, yeah, it's pretty this much is, bloom. Like, this is basically the first page of the third chapter in your anime cliche book. Can I get the lolly to say Oni-chan to wrap it up in a nice bow and send it off to prison? I believe there is an option for that. Damn it! I don't, th I don't think she goes for it because they got at least some decency. That word like triggers me now whenever a character <laughs> says Oni-chan, I, I just immediately go, NO! NO! I recently looked on my TV Tropes page, and it still has multiple postings of me hating lollies. Still holds true today! Well, good. Uh, let me spell it out. Uh, your boys, UDJ, and the Niskol are not pedophiles. Uh, and then you get some fuckers defending it saying, it's an art style. <laughs> I was like, yeah, tell that to the CIA, the FBI, and everybody else taking you away.
is a fraud because he teaches her these incredible otherworldly ninja ninja outfits and a coat of morals. But he's a fraud. Nah, you're a good man, dude. See, what was that one quote in Guardians of the Galaxy 2? Is like, that guy may be your father, but he ain't your daddy. Yeah. It, it, it's it's not the... It, it's just a title, really. I mean, no way they're a real ninja, because ninjas have to, like, blend into their surroundings, and no way that garish yellow <laughs> outfit blends into anything other than a funhouse! Unless you're going to, like, a paper mache museum, you're not blending in with anything, buddy. I mean, the only problem I have with Ozami is her ridiculous outfit. The former one, or this new one? The former one. This new one looks great. Uh, the pants are a little bit too tight for my taste again, but look! It looks like she's actually a ninja in training! She looks very kunoichi. And her pants look very shiny as well. The, the texture looks nice. Yes. But yeah, I want you to make her into a normal girl, because I'm going to die soon, and she's going to have to learn to be a real girl. <laughs> Father figure, no! Even though ninja training is all I have taught her, and she knows nothing but the ninja way, I want you, as a random stranger, to see- to oversee her growth and make sure she turns into a proper lady. Okay, thanks, bye. By the way, she has been watching this entire time. I could tell she was behind the bushes because of the bloom. Because of my ninja sa uh, <laughs> eyes. Well, the jig is up. So when they say, nope, she's not a real ninja, I'm going, are you Did fucking you serious? Did you say anything? You were there. That's gotta be a joke. Well, okay. This is to kind of misdirect that she wasn't there. I get it. Yeah, I not it. I Damn right, you're pulling your way. You're fucking killing it. Check out my jutsus. Pulls a rabbit out of a hat. There we go. Rabbit jutsu. Whoa! Ah. Eventually she will train up to pull two rabbits out of her hat. I don't know, dude. I saw the way you a zombie dropped that fucking eight-year-old. <laughs> Izumi dropped, sorry. Yes, there we go. Because if she's just running around dropping eight-year-olds, I think we have an issue. Well, she puts like an extra spin on it. That that makes it in a zombie drop. Yeah. Oh, that. Oh, that's actually kind of cool. Yeah, but I believe you. You're a real fucking ninja. Seriously. One day you're going to out Hayabusa, Ryu Hayabusa. No, I'm not hearing you. I believe it. I've seen you jump. You go in the walls. You disappear. You, you live the lifestyle, you have the code of morals! You're a fucking ninja, I am not humoring you! Don't play with my emotions, please. You have emotions?! Do not play with my emotions, Kamiyama, for I have so much of it. Yeah, ninjas are real, they have to be because you're a ninja yourself! It's a great point! Ninjas are real, and I'm gonna make them real because I am a fucking ninja! Watch me jump. Yes, jump away. Boing. Sprawl. Like, like you, you have. Uh, yeah, see. Spring-loaded legs. Nobody else in this universe can do that. You jump from rooftops. Yeah. Total fraud. Ah uh, no. Uh, you know what? I forgot you put the costumes on for a moment there. It's it's just it just completes everything, doesn't it? <laughs> I was just thinking. I was like, oh my god, a new character! Oh damn it! Mister Igloo. So, let's be professional. What, how can I help you with? 
Uh, arrest me, okay. Alright, I'm under arrest. Quickest chapter ever. Look at oh, this! Jesus Christ. He's talking to a man! Oh and God. now, without interrogating him, or asking what that's about, we're just gonna arrest him on the spot. He is a spy. Got him. It's like, that's Izami's grandpa. You guys are fucking amateurs. That's, that's all you gotta say. It's like, no, dude, that's just Izami's grandpa. And he's not like a, a minion of the demons or whatever. If you're he's, not, just, he's just really weird. If you're not gonna talk, we have ways of making you talk. I will tell you everything! And they already got Izami! <laughs> Turns out it's pretty easy to arrest a 13-year-old. <laughs> Why is this happening? Because oh, ninjas. This is so stupid. I mean, if we didn't know the previous context, having Kamiyama get arrested would actually be a good plot point. Because then you would have to figure out why. You know, maybe play as a different character in the combat review to clear his name. Sakura, you're making things worse. Just put your sword away, shut the fuck up, and go to your room and do whatever it is you do. Shut. Up. Shut. To up. Quiet. With your bitch ass face. Shut the fuck up. Let me do big boy. Let me do big boy stuff. You go pretend to be Jennifer Aniston or whoever it is you're supposed to be. Can you please do like the hand thing, like a full hand open, and then you just like close it shut? Is I it, was and, doing that as and, I was talking. <laughs> Don't you it just shut up? <laughs> it's my fault. You got arrested. No, it isn't. Yeah, it kind of is. just sucks. Uh, All right, here's the plan to escape. We're gonna escape. Ah, that's a good start of the plan. Now, how does the rest of the plan continue? Well, we gotta start escaping. Oh, okay, that, that's a good start. How do we start? We need to escape. Oh, why didn't I think of that, Kamiyama? What do you think we should do to uh, begin the plan? Well, I'm escaping. I don't know about you. Okay. Are you going to slip your hands through the cuffs? Are, are we going to jump out the window and get caught on the on the mail thing? What are we going to do, Kamiyama? You know, a general uh, escaping. Ah, of course, of course. Well, should we just wait for the rest of the combat review to come save us? Because clearly you've got nothing. I've got one thing. An escape plan. Oh, as an I great. as an I plan to escape. Uh, oh, okay. Well, yeah, you're you're useless. Uh, uh, well, as we're getting else? arrested, there's demons attacking. So now they gotta go <laughs> four on. Oh no! What are we gonna do without our captain? If only we had a surrogate captain, like Sakura. Now we're not gonna worry about them. This is a zombies chapter. Remember, whenever. A character gets a chapter, the focus is on them. Right? Yeah, but Sakura's gonna take right. over as your replacement. Oh no no. Oh no no. Nothing like that, my friend. Okay. This is this is a zombie time. Because what's gonna happen if the uh clueless, dumb fucking stupid co uh, flower combat review goes into combat without their glorious, shining, godlike captain. What's gonna happen? Wow, so we're gonna come in and save them? After yeah. they get their asses kicked for no reason? Yeah, exactly. Azami and Seijiro are gonna jump into the sea and be like, What's up? We're back! We're gonna <laughs> save your asses! And then they're there for like the last, like, eighth of the mission. And then, yeah. 
I think my favorite part is, why does a Kamiyama just go onto the intercom and just say, Use the speed move! Who cares if you're real or fake? You're you, and you, and what you are is real, and whatever you do is real, and what if what you say, if what if the real stuff you say is ninja stuff, then you're a fucking ninja. I mean, it sucks that you're a fake gamer, but you know we'll fix that later. <laughs> Ooh, when do we tell her? Do you know what he is, your master? I mean, you're a ninja. He's teaching you stuff. You know, it's. I'm seeing it as a, str a list of strong morals that he has embedded in her. What's the worst thing she does? Oh, she sneaks out and buys Ma Manju with the money she earns by working in her job. Oh no. But she's lo she's fiercely loyal to her friends and her company. She's got amazing technique. You know, she rocks. She's great. She's awesome. Oh my god. So, oh my god. A request for savior has to be pushed through the bureaucracy in order to send out combat reviews. I can't. I cannot. Boy, you ever feel like this might be commentary on something almost? Corrupt president who makes things difficult for people working for him except for his friends? Uh huh. Let's see. How long did Subtle! it take to develop this? Subtle! We're in the red! There is nothing we can do to cut back costs whatsoever! Alright, alright, alright. Nothing all right. can be done! Alright, alright, alright. We get it. We get it. <laughs> they replace all the propulsion systems with thousands of balloons. Did you make sure to use the hyper premium fuel? Again, no way we can cut back on any costs! It's just down the street. Why you need to take that anyway? Hey, wait, yeah. Why do we deploy the big whale? Every single time there's a no attack. way to cut back anything. You gotta spend money to make money. Yes, but you have to make it after you spend it. <laughs> we haven't been doing that. We've just been spending oh, what we make. Oh, there's a return on investment. Oh shit, that's what we're missing. How did I do it? Shitty writing and poor choices. You know, that just made me realize, we're 19 episodes in. Have you met one of those fans yet? What do you mean? A fan that will defend this to the grave? Uh, like, maybe one or two. Okay. Maybe. And I think they figured out what was going on early on, and they ditched out early. Well, that's probably for the best. If you are still watching, hey, sorry. <laughs> it's not going to get better. <laughs> Again, this is why we look at the bad, so we can appreciate the good more. Oh my god, just do something. I'm getting impatient with this game. I'm not even playing. It's pretty simple, dude. We need to escape. There is zero escape. I became a captain through, uh... T <laughs> I'm not a real captain! <laughs> <laughs> you know, if this entire game was split into multiple timelines because of a coin flip, I think that would be... Yeah, that'd be a great divergence. By the way, those of you at home, play Zero Escape, because that game fucks with your brain. And it's uh, great. Play AI The Somnium Files. That game fucks with your brain, too. <laughs> play Steins Gate. That game fucks with your brain. 
Play Soccer Wars. It fucks with your brain. Yes, but not in a good way. No. I still think Zero Time Dilemma has one of the greatest finales I've ever seen, and it's such a silly finale, but it hits so good. Do you think he shot? You got a quarter. <laughs> we could turn this into a coin flip. Life is simply unfair. You can tell this guy has complex motives. <laughs> oh my god! And now we got Have gotta... faith in yourself! So because we got so many things to pile on, because Sakura's <laughs> gotta take so much of, of everything, she's got it's like, oh my my dear uh, d old model, this is the last time we're gonna fight together, then I'm gonna get a brand new Mugen class because I apparently deserve it. <laughs> Maybe I'll be piloting all kinds of new mechs, but wait, didn't Sakura's Shinguji only pilot one type of mech? Shouldn't you be ex shouldn't you be devastated to be replacing it with one that isn't Sakura's Shinguji? Or is it oh, brand new shiny thing? Yeah, I'll definitely take that. Oh, thank you. All right, that's great. Well, this is how I'll be this is how I'll surpass Sakura. <laughs> Every time this kid comes on screen and she's like, "I got to do this from a dream." I just lose it. <laughs> it is so funny. All right, he's gonna arrest Yatansai. We can't have that happen. Let's go. Let's go. Beat he ass. Let's do it. Let's do first, it, bro. First, I need to escape. Time to time to enact my plan of escaping. Here we go. And escape. <laughs> you just see both of their character models out of existence. <laughs> there we go. Alright. Uh, oh, hey, the shackles are off. Great. Escape. So. Escape. Windows. Uh, escape. Fitted with wire mesh. Can't use that. Door. Obvious. Um. Uh, go. Use a zombie as a battering ram. The window at the top! It's at the top! It's at the top! Go! Did that work? I don't think it no. did. Oh, uh, shit. But I know how, how it works. No, you idiot! Kamiyama, you idiot! You're gonna hurt yourself. Stop! What? what if I use my head? She escaped. I knew that was going to happen. They never shackled me. She, it's almost like she's a ninja! Ah, <sighs> okay. Oh, now we can hang out here for a little while. Of course, open the door! <laughs> yes, ninja. What part are you not understanding? We had to have that entire song and dance. Just to finally have this. I know. So this is why these episodes are so long, is because they just never shut the fuck up and just do what they're supposed to do. There's padding all over the place. Like, I I'm trying to remember what show I saw where the escape happened in the background while the characters were having a moment. Oh, fucking duh, it was The Incredibles. There you go. That's, yeah, it's not a cartoon or anything, but yeah, but Mr. Incredible is like pouring out his soul and Violet just escapes in the background. Well, I, I think we can safely assume that uh, Sega is not quite Pixar. Not quite. Oh my god, this is still going, huh? Of course you fucking will! I mean, you just proved to me, like, three different ways that you're a, a master. Yeah, but sorry, Azami, you're a woman, and without the proper credentials, you can't be a real anything. It's the 1940s, sorry. You know, that hits a lot harder these days. <laughs> like, I know you're fooling, but as soon as you said it, I was like, 
Yeah. That's what that's why I make the joke and make a slow turn to camera. <laughs> Uh, where's the webcam when you need it? <laughs> Did you just jump through a window and unlock the door and sit down a butt? You're, you're, fuck. you're already a real ninja! <laughs> it's easy! This is not hard! This is not some oh big, God. you know, character breaking moment. It's like, it's like, I, I want to be a real ninja, but I may not be a real ninja. I want to be a real ninja. How can I do that, Kamiyama? You are a real ninja. Why is that? Because you can just say you're a real ninja. Because you are. It's like, are you God. sure about that? And she, you know, moves her hands and turns into a log and then winds up behind it. <laughs> I just want to know if I can be authentic. You know? I don't want to gentrify the ninja name. You know, having like an accidental ninja sounds like a parody that is worth investing. Like, she can't stop doing ninja things, and then she's like, Why can't I be a ninja? As she turns into a substitute. So, where were we, anyway? Just we were on, uh, some we were, random I guess, train? I guess we were on some in some car or whatever. We never, we never see, because they didn't render that. Now it's what all, the fuck it's is all this? very It's all very minimalistic and bare bone. It's almost like we're watching a theater. If that's what they're going for, this is a really dumb way to do it in a big budget AAA video game. Why do we have the men in black, like, cornering this dude? Because they're President G's dudes. And he is the spy for the demons. What? That's why we're in this whole mess, because Azami was seen with this man, because he had a mask just like Yaksha, who did the terrorist attack on, for the demons. And then he, Azami was seen with him, We were, and then we were seen with him, so now they think we're all, you know, deem, they're all demon spies for the demons, because he wore a mask once. And Yaksha did too. How did we even know he was here? So, alright! Yeah! Hiya! Your guns are useless and they're as useless as my swords that I always have with me in my original costume. Have we always been able to do that? Sure. I escaped! But how did you escape? By not being free! And then becoming free by escaping! Yes, but how did you escape? Escapely! I'm a demon. Where'd you get that idea? Then he takes it too far. So I was trying to go, it's like, a demon spy? Where'd you get that idea? Like, you're crazy, man. But he's fucking like, bah, bah, bah. It's like, no. Alright, so we're not demon spies, but now we're, uh, disturbers, uh, disturbers of the peace. Enemies against the state. I may have, uh, Made things a bit worse for us, but hey, as long as we act rationally and calmly, we can probably get out of this without being court-martialed. We're killing all of them, aren't we? Just gotta take it slow. Maybe there's ellipse or something that can get us all out of this. Okay, how are your negotiation skills? I need you to think back to heavy rain. <laughs> There's too many of them. They probably all have guns. When in doubt, pussy out. Villa's Rule 108. Never shower while bathing. What? I think it just blew my mind there. <laughs> Oh wait, that's rule 107. No wait, rule 107 is no butts, no cuts, no coconuts. Remember ninja village rule number 105? 
Don't play leapfrog with a unicorn! Yeah, uh, you know what? A zombie's no... Okay, I'll turn it back a little bit. She's like, she's like 95% a real ninja. That 5% comes from that ridiculous outfit. I mean, I, I had to pay to put her in a decent outfit. I thought the other 5% the other five percent was made of manju. Oh, that's unrelated, I'd say. It's the only character quirk they could give her. She likes manju and she's a ninja. God, look at him jerk around. You know nothing about a zombie. She's nice and she's good. And really, I had all the stuff saved for Sakura, but I guess I can find some things to say about her too. Kamiyama has the animation of like Toy Story One Woody, just being like flopped around by Andy. Circa '93. She never gave up on her dream of being. What? What, what was it? Be being a a ninja. Yeah. You're going to jail, Mr. I. Say goodbye to the wife and tater tots. And what do you have? Power? Money? Authority over society? Well, Zami still says she's a ninja anyway. And with the power of friendship and belief, she will swoop in and save both of us. It's like, I want them to just go the extra mile, whether into camp or just, you know, seriousness or just straight up drama. But it's just like, what... The, the subject matter they choose is just so weak. It's like, she never gave up on her dreams, and she, like, like, so what? Like, she came you know, from a life of hardship, and she used her, her skills to establish a better moral code than you, monsters! She actually cares about something, whereas you all just care about money and power. You know, I was really hoping she was going to have an inner monologue, and while she was having it, you see Kamiyama in the background getting gunned down by, like, ten mofos. Oh my god, if we would if we would have done this so much sooner, we would have been done by now! We could have cut, like, 15 minutes out of this! You do know that if all the fluff was taken out of New Soccer Wars, the game would be only ten hours. Holy shit, they actually had a budget. Well, what what would be better if uh, if it's ten hours and I go, oh, that was that was kind of short, or if it's like twenty five hours and I'm just scratching my eyes out. Anyway, not a real ninja. Go. Ah, why? Where was this when we needed like things to move quicker? Right here, right now. Oh my god, this is Naruto! Well, why would an actual ninja tell you he's a ninja? <laughs> You're an idiot, Kamihama. <laughs> of course he's gonna tell you a lie! Damn, if Claire's gonna have book magic, he can summon toads, why the hell not? Ancient God Orochi and Kero. Well, I guess now the line's been towed. Boo! <laughs> Thank Boo! You. Oh wait, we don't get to see those models in glorious 3D. What I want on my sandwich? Do I want to put uh, chicken, uh, shredded chicken on it? Do I want to put a burger on it? Nah, I'll rib it. <laughs> What's your favorite brand of soda? Mine is Croak! <laughs> no! They're all terrible! <laughs> I need to tell you my real name. It is not Ultra Director Jester. I... Amphibian. <laughs> <laughs> oh, holy shit, you little slimy snake in the grass. You shed some light on some of these greatest puns. 
You got me in hysterics! And now a zombie's a real master! Yay! <gasps> oh, it's time to go save our friends as a new master ninja! You're truly a master who's unforgettable. Jesus Christ, dude! Ah! I know you've said before it hurts to be me, but Jesus Christ, that, that was hurting you know, me! You know, it doesn't hurt anymore, now I'm just doing it to cope with the pain. <laughs> oh no. Your coping mechanism is to make hilariously bad puns. It, it really does alleviate the tightness in my chest whenever I play this game. You know, I'm thinking I'm having so much more fun with this project than anybody else will. Because the first time our experience is, is kind of groan worthy. And sometimes you gotta laugh at something so hilariously there it is. unabashedly bad. Call me Big Brother. There, there it was. Fuck! <laughs> oh, thank God you lose points for that one, I assume. Oh, that's a nice smile. I like that. So I heard this game is getting ported. No. I think it's coming to... I'm pretty sure it might be on PS5, or at least playable on that. It might be coming to PC. But uh, there's another unusual console that's being ported to. You know what that is? <sighs> Lay it on me. Leapfrog! Damn it. Uh, okay. Leapfrog? I haven't heard of that in years. Because no one has played a Leapfrog in years. My sister had a Leapfrog. Oh the generation God. who would own a Leapfrog is now old enough to own a real game console. And the kids who are old enough to play Leapfrog now have their phones. Ugh. Oh, the technological advancements. You know, I'm kind of hoping for a definitive edition for PlayStation 5. Yeah, uh, well, anyway, let's see what we got. Hatsuho is in the lead! Hell yeah! Hatsuho's in the lead! Finally! Yes! Kaoru's, on, Kaoru's on deck now, and... Hatsuho oh, is finally right. in the lead, but look, look, and the zombie's close too, but look at Sakura. She just wants to get closer to me. I don't want, yeah, yeah, I'd, I'd have you back up if I had, if I had the chance. It's next time on New Sakura Wars. We're going to go save our friends.